Hey guys, it's your boy. We are back with more Marvel Future Bad content. Today we are diving into the pre-update APK and talking about some of the story mission changes for the rewards, which are which is really good, I think so. And the uniforms, the uniform changes, the character changes, and some of the character acquisitions where you can get the character. Let's start from Black Bolt. We knew from the sneak peek that he's gonna get a tier three with the Marvel's X uniform that got uh, confirmed with that post, the event that was, I think, the Bird Community event. So with the tier three, he definitely has 70% all defense down stacked up. Uh, this that is really good. I definitely made a point that he probably will get a defense down on the tier three skill. And then the Silent King, the four star passive, and the leadership also got increased. Now the leadership was 30% to all allies. Now it's 65%. You jump, but the worst part of the leadership is that it only applies to inhuman allies. I know it does make sense. Black Bolt, the king of inhumans, he wants to do all of, all, all of that for the inhumans. So it makes sense. Although in the game, it does not make sense because it's just not relevant. You cannot use this leadership for any other character other than inhumans. So yeah, that restricts the use of Black Bolt's leadership in the game. Now for the uniform options, we have Human Torch, Feature Foundation, Phoenix 5, Emma Frost, then we have X-Force Wolverine, and Captain America, Marvel's Avengers Endgame, and we have Vision Uncanny Avengers. So pretty uh, steep options, I wouldn't say that's too bad. And the uniform effects are also not so great, it just increases the leadership and stuff. Now the all defense or damage accrued received will be decreased by 15%, which is not so huge. Now. Going for the Medusa, we have the Awakened skill which gives her 50% defense down or defense down starting from 20% 20, 20 all defense down and accumulation that is actually damage dealt to enemies which is the best accumulation in the game. The tier 2 passive looks like this and the uniform looks like, looks actually good. She looks amazing in this. I mean, she got big hairs now. But the Merciful Queen, the leadership was 36%. She got the Monster Unleashed uh, uniform, this one. And the, the leadership jumped from 36 to 42. Now the leadership jumped from 42 to 45. Now it's just a case, uh, it's just a matter of time if you want to get this uniform because I don't think you want to get a uniform just for 3% extra. 5% would be really good. But we have some of these and the uniform options are Crystals, Phoenix 4, then we have Spider-Man 2099, which is a really good uniform, Hulk, Team Suit uniform, Phoenix 5, Cyclops, and Luna Snow Andromeda suit. So not very bad options. Most of the people already have these uniforms, so it should be really good. Although as a character, we will do some testing if we, if we actually she is really good or not. Now, Thane as a character is crazy. Uh, we thought he's gonna be a native tier 2, he's not a native tier 2, and he's actually a bio sub paywall character. Uh, we did not think, we thought Dazzler might be the bio sub character uh, in the in the game, uh, not just Thane. So Thane definitely, and yeah, look at the cage face, <laughs> look at that cage face. So he looks re really good, and the, uh, we have the dark instinct, and the skills look, skill effect looks nice. I still have to do more testing about uh, for his damage, how it looks like in the game. Although he does have 70% chance to penetrate, I think everything if I'm not wrong. And the leadership is good as well because it gives you 25% to all attacks and debuff removal as well, which is pretty nice. Now going for the more characters and the uniform. Now, Dazzler is here. So yes, yeah, she looks good. And look at this, the tier 2 passive. Mutant allies ignore target dodge, by, dodge rate by 70%. Increase damage dealt to boss types by 65%. This is huge. For every single mutant character, you will be able to juice out 65% more damage towards the boss types. Although I'm not sure if this boss type is gonna help out in AT, Alliance Tournament. I so she looks pretty interesting and the leadership is just meh, <laughs> it's just not good. But the 4 star passive also grants her immune to silence and immune to blind effect which is probably gonna be handy for the character itself because it's not applies to all. It does not have any uniform. Now you must be wondering why do I have Kamala Khan and Iceman here. If you go here, Kamala Khan and Iceman do have the uniform at Alan Rising although the fact is that the uniform is unavailable right now so I cannot buy the uniform. I don't know why, maybe they are just finishing some uh, last minute actions, although she looks really good and she looks so hell more powerful than what she was before, so she definitely looks amazing. The uniform effect gives her 15% of all attack, 30% of max HP, which, which, is, which is really good for the 
for the fact and these this uh, passive was actually when it, your hp is below 30 percent you will get 30 percent more now it's actually below 50 percent and you will get the same 30 percent plus you will remove all debuffs which is pretty nice i'm not sure if this is gonna be like uh universally useful for her uh, at all because and you know you need to remove the debuffs when you are debuff not when you are under 50 percent so i'm not sure how this is gonna help her out but we'll see how it goes although we go for iceman iceman also is gonna get a new uniform which is the x-men blue uniform which is also unav uh, unavailable right now to buy in the pre-update apk now when a free skill is used so okay do we even have a free skill i mean i'm just i was just thinking so the free skill should be the chill skill and we we all have Every single skill of Iceman is actually a free skill, so it's you, they should have just gone with when attacking, right? So when attacking or when free skill is used, critical damage increased by 45 percent, 35 percent increase of all attack, which is pretty, which is pretty great. And some of the uniform changes are here. So it looks like they are making some last minute changes to Kamala Khan and Iceman uniforms. So we'll see how it goes. Although I still have something to talk about for the story mission reward, as I said uh, pre in the video. At the starting of the video that the rewards are actually buffed it definitely they are not nerfed now they are definitely better now if you go to the ultimate mode alternative mode ultimate mode you will see there are this puzzles thing so we have this puzzle thing that we need to get story fragments so it is called the story fragments for the second one not the first one the first story actually needs more fragments i am and i still don't think that it's actually worth it to get it because if you go here for the puzzle thing you can combine these fragments as you get from the story missions and at this chest this chat actually has some of these uh, type enhancement tickets so it is gonna help out for the ones that are hunting type enhancement on every single pvp character for pvp players it will be amazing and for the all war alternative mode ultimate mode if you go here because there are only four stages so it's much faster than the previous one if you go here i only have been collected like four of them so there are few character requirement so if you use all the three characters you will have 75 percent chance increase to get your story fragment your daily basic reward will be the stage uh, level 4 uniform exp chip which is really nice although there will be a 75 percent chance if you already have all the tier 3 character and use them to clear the stage then you will have 75 percent chance to get the story fragment it's not a guarantee that you will get it although when you combine the four story fragment to get the chest for the all war you see the chest has six star urus and odin's blessing and nothing at all no shit no bad rewards nothing at all so now, apart from World War Ultimate, you have another way to get Odin's Blessing for free. Absolutely for free. And hopefully, maybe, uh, it's definitely a chance that if you have all the tier 3s in the game, if you have them, you can probably have one chest per day because you can get them once per day. Although, you can also play them back to back. The you can uh, It's going to cost you 8 energy per day stage but the fact that i have not been able to get the third third one and the fourth one because i did not have all the characters tier 3 i did not have odin tier 3 in this one so also one more thing to consider use the elemental attackers because right now if you go for every single stage they have cold resist increased they have i think the fire yeah fire resist increased the last one actually has cold and fire yeah cold and fire and they have energy immunity to non-elemental damage so i would say just go with professor x professor x should be the really good option for you to use on this stage because he just has the mind damage and he does not get affected by the by the chance or by the decreased damage so it's going to be really fun and if you can get the four rewards or the four fragments for parts of this puzzle you can get and you can combine them to get the chest which can grant you another chance to get more odin's blessing out of it it still does not have the double energy attack or the double physical attack magic and strike but still is good so just let me know what you think about the video let me know what you think about the new story mission changes and the new uniform that are going to be coming to the game i think that's really good and some of the uniform changes are really good although we will do more testing about this in the gameplay section so let me know what you think about that and as always if you like the content i hope to see you again take care see ya